Hi, welcome to 3MS. Today we'll continue the quantity surveying and we'll speak about the slabs which have a special type like a hordy slab or the ribs slab. Suppose you have a new project, ribbed slab or a hordy slab, which bordered with the beams, which can be treated in the same as beam sheets. Now we are talking about only the ribs. Actually, you have a two choice. Either to consider these ribs as the beams and the boot in the in the beams sheet but in this case we have to calculate how many ribs you have and what are the exact numbers and maybe the blocks can be neglected in this time but better to go for the CMS sheet which make for you the, the calculation of ribs step very easy which you will find it here ribs till mezzanine or the typical ribs or the roof ribs slab We'll start with the ribs till mezzanine. You will find this sheet, as we said before, you consider here the numbers of the slabs. Here you have a two types of ribs. Either one way ribbed slab or two ways ribbed slab. What's the difference between one way or two ways? Here in our project, we consider this is as a one way ribbed slab because this is the rib is by one direction only. If we have one rib like this and another one in perpendicular that means it is a two-way rib slab so each type have a separate method for calculation CMS make it very easy for you what CMS require from your site to insert as you see here in the sheets of CMS if we are talking about the one way he need from you only the length and the width of the slab of the rib slab L is the rib length, which is clear length of the slab. The width is the slab width, which is the perpendicular on the rib. So the dimension, which is perpendicular on the rib, that means it is the width. It is the width, which is this one. That's the width. It will be, of course, it must be more than the length, because the length of the ribs must be the smallest length of the slab so L is the length of the rib which is in the same direction of rib the width which is the other side so you will give him only the dimension this dimension and this dimension suppose it will be 5 meter for length of one rib and 8 meter for the repetition for the width what appears here directly appears the number of the ribs why he consider these numbers? Because there is another data, not only these two dimension, it's required also the, the description or the data of the blocks and ribs. So let's start with the ribs itse itself. According to the schedule we have here, R1, which is 1620, multiplied by 25. What these numbers? Normally the ribs don't have one thickness. That's the shape of the ribs. Sometimes the ribs have two width and one length. Two width and one length. Why? Because the dimension of the block is not straight. The block is tapered from this side to avoid falling down. So sometimes the block itself have two dimensions which is 36 centimeter from the bottom and 40 centimeter in the top this is very important to be in inserted also to CMS and we'll see how accordingly the ribs itself it will be 20 centimeter in the bottom and 16 centimeter in the top and the height it will be 25 centimeters which is the, the height of the block so we'll enter the width which is 16 and 20 we we'll give, we'll give only the average between 16 and 20 we enter only 18 and the height which is the rib depth per meter and to be the same of block height we have here either 20 centimeter or 25 centimeter or 30 centimeters that's the common hardy blocks used in all markets again we have here some dimensions must be inserted related to the block and rib here the bw is the hardy block width you will enter here the width in our case is 20 centimeter the block length 
in our case here we have 36 centimeter the rib width in our case here is 20 centimeter because this is 36 this is 20 if you put this 40 you have to put this as a 16 as mentioned here in the drawing so either to take 20 centimeter for the rib width and and 36 centimeter for the block width or 16 centimeter for the rib width and 40 centimeter for the block width this to be entered as we mentioned here and here what is this one this is the internal rib which can be in the middle of the span if it's there in our case we have one and it is a 20 centimeter so we will mention the width of it here last thing we need to confirm and to choose what is the type of the filling either it is a block or a polystyrene CMS have these two types either it's a block or the block or a polystyrene and for sure we will enter also the reinforcement of the ribs let's take an example we'll consider according to our project seven and a half meter for the length of the rib and repeat it in approximate 8.9 other words so the length of the rib is seven and a half meter the width which is which which is repeated in is 8.9 meter we'll find here directly the number of the ribs it will be a 15 pieces sp1 and sp2 which is the solid part for both direction one is seven centimeter and another is five centimeter and the number of hardy block is 584 pieces when we enter the reinforcement of the ribs which is mentioned here in our schedule we have in the bottom 16 milli two pieces in the top 14 milli two pieces we'll just add it as we add before in the beams we have the bottom steel we have the top steel we have also the sidebar and the rings this will be entered the same as we mentioned before or, or as we inserted before in the beams and tie beams and so on so we'll just choose the diameter and choose the number of rebar in the in the bottom rebar the top the same will put the number of the rebars and the diameter for the ring as it is not mentioned any legs numbers it is two and according to the schedule we have eight milli each 20 centimeter that means five per meter eight milli ring and so on we will continue all type of ribs according to the types of ribs in the sheet here you can add as we mentioned for the same type of ribs and the same repetition we can add it here the length and the width the length and the width what we'll have at the end you will have the the length of the ribs the concrete for this ribs the steel required for this type of ribs that's the steel reinforcement ratio 195 kilogram per square per cubic meters and here is the number of the blocks which is 25 centimeter why it's only why it's choose 25 centimeters because you already entered for him the ribs height is 25 centimeters so the ribs height don't forget is the height of the blocks itself so what about if we have the two-way ribs so if we have a ribbed slab for the two-way r1 and r2 r y is the same as we mentioned before and r2 have different in the width size but it must be have the same height size otherwise it cannot be work in the same location uh, the bottom rebar is uh, 220 the top rebar is 218 and the ring is the same 8 millimeter each 20 centi and it is mentioned like this we have also the same length and width but we will do it in the two-way slab we will choose from here we have 50 types in the one way and another 50 types in the two-way we will enter 
the lens the clear lens of each rib which you have here 7.5 meter and the other rib which is R2 is 8.9 and here as we mentioned for R1 we put also the repetition for both if it's there any repetition if this if this size of the slab is repeated we will repeat it otherwise it will be one and we will put the width as we agreed together before at uh, 16 and 20 the average of this 16 and 20 is 18 and the height is 25 centimeter we have for the other rib is 18 and 22 so the average is 20 so it is 0.2 we'll put per meter only and the height is 25 centimeter that means 0.25 meter we'll find here directly the number of ribs for r1 is 15 and number of ribs for r2 is 11. we have solid bar 5 centimeter sp1 we have solid bar the sp2 25 centimeter and the number of hardy block is 384 don't forget to also add the number of the the, the dimensions of the block as we mentioned before but here we have the two widths of the ribs one rib related to the rib in l in length and the other is related to the ribs in width so according to the drawing we have r1 and r2 r1 is the same as we mentioned before in the one way we have 16 20 by 25 2 16 2 14 for the top rib bar the strip the strips with 8 millimeters each 20 centimeter and the r2 the width is different 18 and the 22 so the average is 20 not 18 as r1 the height must be the same otherwise it cannot be worked together so the height must be the same r1 and the r2 there is a different rebar here is 220 in the bottom and 218 in the top and the stirrup also 8 milli each 20 centimeters how we'll enter this in the cms we'll find it here by very easy way let's take an example if the height of the hardy block or the height of the ribs is changed till 30 centimeter we'll find the numbers of the block are the same but it's coming here under the 30 centimeter blocks the number of blocks is related to the width of the block if we change the block to a full screen we'll use a full screen only we'll find the blocks all the blocks is disappear only the polystyrene is appeared but the number is changed because it's considered a polystyrene here by linear meters not per piece if you are using a block with another width size which maybe it can be 24 centimeter or whatever the numbers of the block will be changed accordingly so be careful when you are entering the these types of data to gain and accurate quantities of materials at the end you will get all the steel quantities required for the ribs and the concrete for the ribs only and the ratio between the rebar and the concrete and the number of blocks or polystyrene for any type of the blocks or polystyrene required for this ribs actually till now the hardy slab not finished that's the ribs only when you have a hardy slab you will have another type of slab above the rib which is this covering because the hardy slabs or the ribs and the block must be covered by another slab in our case we have a slab with eight centimeters for all the area with rebar with the minimum rebar of eight millimeter for each 20 centimeters this must be entered in the slab sheets only that means we have to go back for the normal slab sheet we can mention here as an S for ribs and enter the area as we calculated before in the slabs consider also the same 15 21 15.4 with the thickness of 8 centimeter which is 0 0.08 with a bar of 5 per meter 8 millimeter in both direction so last thing I need to add for the ribs 
in this case when we have a internal beam or internal rib crossing the one the one way rib we have to enter this information also but not in the rib we have to mention there in the beams so we'll, we'll take a table and put the name insert the dimension which is 20 by 25 or whatever and you'll put the length which we have here is almost 8.9 plus the rebar which mentioned in the schedule 220 in the bottom and 220 in the top and the ring the same 8 milli so we'll mention here 220 in the bottom and the 220 in the top and the ring 5 per meter that's how you will enter everything related to the ribs slab the same we will do for the other locations in the typical floor and the floor and roof floor and you do the same till this point we finished all the structure coin surveying using CMS next we'll start in the other aspects of coin surveying which is the masonry and finishing and the other aspects see you later in the next video and thank you very much